Hello and welcome to this SketchUp tutorial. I am Randy Risa and today I'm going to talk about three main topics. The first one will be where to find SketchUp and how to install it. The second one will be where to find plugins. And the third and final will be how to install them. So if you're wondering what SketchUp is, it's basically a 3D modeling package where it's very easy to use and it's widely used by different fields. Um, to name a few, architecture, uh, gaming design, also uh, movies and whatnot. So without any further ado, let's start with step number one. So you will want to get your pen and paper ready and what you want to first do is go ahead and open something like Google and type, uh, sorry, type SketchUp and you will find that mainly the first link is going to be the correct one. You want to make sure that it says SketchUp.com. You click that. Then on the right top you will see a blue button where it says download SketchUp. Click it and you are presented with two options. Uh, the first one being the SketchUp Pro which has a uh, little more capabilities than the free version which is the bottom over here uh, for the purpose of this tutorial uh, you can use the free version with no problem you can install plugins with that version as well so once you click that and download it you want to install it and once you finish installing it uh, you will see three uh, icons on your desktop uh, the first one being the SketchUp, then Layout, and then Style Builder. Uh, the main program is going to be SketchUp, so you want to click that. And you will have to choose a template. For now, you can choose Architectural Design, Feet and Inches, and hit uh, Start Using SketchUp. It is that easy. And now you are in the SketchUp interface. If you don't have this left toolbar, uh, what you can do to uh, get it is go to the tab, uh, the view tab, go to toolbars, and then activate the large tool set. And there you go. Now you can start using SketchUp and experiment uh, so that you can get the basics. But once you get the basics and you want to extend uh, the capabilities of SketchUp, you will want to install a plugin. So step number two will cover that. Okay, so for the second step, I'm going to recommend a SketchUp website, which is called Sketchucation. You search that on your favorite uh, search engine, and usually the first link will be the correct one, and that will lead you to this page. And what Sketchucation is, is a community-based uh, website which offers a lot of tutorials, models, uh, resources uh, as plugins. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'm sure that you can ask them there and there will be a person that will help you. So to find a forum, you go to community tab and then forum. That will lead you to this, which uh, you can go to the resources topic and choose plugin. Once you do that, uh, you can go through each of these posts and see what plugin you know is the right for you and another way to do it is you can go to the resource tab and go to plugins that will lead you to this index page of uh, most of the plugins that there are not all of them but most and uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use one that I made called uh, Resbaliza it's a game and once you find it, you will be directed to my post, which has a very basic description and a couple of videos explaining what their plugin does. And what you want to look is this download page. Keep in mind that most of these plugins, you will need to subscribe to this uh, website. That's a free uh, subscription, so you can do that and then while you subscribe you can log in and then the link will appear okay so don't worry if you enter a, a link and it, it doesn't show the download button so once you click uh, for example my download 
link you can go to this page and it has uh, three folders and it's basically three options of uh, uh, that you have and I'm going to talk that on the third and final uh, topic which is how to install the plugins okay if you went with option number one which is the uncompressed files you will see something like this usually there are a lot of plugins that only come with one file and that is the .rb extension and uh, mine however has a folder and most of these uh, downloads has a readme so you will want to read that and if you click it will on the bottom say how to install which is place the resbalisa folder and the resbalisa.rb script in the sketchup blocking directory so what you will want to do is find where this directory is in my case I can find it in the you go to the computer then go to the C directory then go to programs files and Google now Google is not the owner of this um, application anymore it's called Trimble so you will want to search for that folder if that's the case for you you will have a SketchUp folder you enter that and over here you will want to focus on this folder where it says plugins and there is where you basically copy the files let's copy this RB extension and you click continue so you give the administration permission to copy a file there and the folder and that will basically uh, end the, uh, the how to install it once you do that the next uh, time you open SketchUp you will have the plugin already installed so it's that easy uh, let me do option number two which uh, you may find that you you download a, a compressed file which then you will need something like WinRAR or zip, uh, WinZip to uncompress it but once you uncompress it it's basically the same process as before you copy the RB extension and the folder and you place it on the plugin folder now there's a third option which I want to talk about this is basically a compressed uh, extension that SketchUp recognize and uh, let me let me show you how that works let me delete what I copy and paste it so that I can show you this process okay for this you will want to install uh, SketchUp and open it and the way you install it you don't find any folders or, or anything you install it right from SketchUp and what you will want to do is go to window uh, window sorry then preference and then go to something called extensions once you are in that uh, in that field you go to this button where it says install install extension and then you will want to find that uh, that file which is in this folder resbalisa.rbc okay so you click that and you hit open and it will ask you if you want to install it you click yes okay and there you have the message the selection extension has been successfully installed and now available for use okay so you click OK and if you check on your plugin tab, you will see that the file has successfully uh, installed so to run this plugin for example you will click the resbalisa demo level and that should work fine you will see this uh, uh, browser you will need to resize it so it's uh, the perfect size and uh, every plugin is different uh, you may have to access it a different way so you may want to read the description the developer uh, posted and on how to use it in my case this uh, this plugin you will need to go here and press play then start okay and what you do is you control your your character with the arrow keys and that's it that's uh, now you're playing again inside SketchUp
which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, one thing that I forgot to explain on this game is that you can activate uh, an invisibility kind of feature where if you, if you press the I key, your avatar is now immune uh, for a couple of seconds. So that will get you out of trouble if needed. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope that you found this tutorial useful and uh, if you have any question, please post it on the comments below or go to the SketchUp topic and ask me there. Thank you very much and goodbye.